say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. You've heard me talk about telemedicine at Trinity Medical Care Center here on the Mark White Show. With Trinity Medical Care Center's telemedicine, you can skip the commute and get the care you need from the safety and comfort of your own home. You can contact Trinity Medical Care Center by calling 256-489-3192. You can also schedule an appointment on the web by going to trinity-medicalcare.com. Again, give them a call at 256-489-3192 and give telemedicine telemedicine a try today. Thompson Roofing and Construction is a locally owned family business serving the North Alabama and Southern Tennessee area. They are a Better Business Bureau a member since 2011 and a GAF Master Elite Contractor. Give them a call at 256-952-3309 or check them out on the web at 256roofing.com. They offer free inspections. Thompson Roofing and Construction. Hey, good, good looking, looking. Don't, don't worry, worry about, about cooking. cooking. Head, Head over to Tuscumbia, Tuscumbia Alabama, Alabama. Grab, grab a bite to eat, and visit, visit the Alabama, Alabama Music Hall of Fame, Hall of Fame where, where they're honoring Alabama's music, music achievers. achievers. To, plan to plan your visit, visit go to alamhof.com or give them, them a call at 256-381-4417. Mr. Cecil Batchelor is the one that started this business as Dependable Service Center. And even though now it's Green's Dependable Hardware and we're a true value store, our tagline is still your Dependable Service Center. We've tried to keep that alive for all these years. Mr. Batchelor really started a good business. We're really excited to be carrying on a long-standing tradition. It's the oldest retail store in the city of Russell. We're Green's Dependable Hardware, 15220A, Highway 43 in Russellville. Alabama. We're right behind McDonald's or right across the street from the hospital. Number is 256-331-0123. The Dependable Service Center. 
Is it time for a haircut? Go see my friends Philip Butler and B.H. Parker at Southwind Barbershop, located at 1637 Lee Street in Rogersville, Alabama. Give them a call at 256-247-5658. That's 256-247-5658. Hey everybody, this is Daryl Worley, and you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hey, step up and make a difference like he does. Hey y'all, this is Jeff Foxworthy, and you, yeah, you, can make a huge difference in somebody's life. You just may not have figured out how yet, and that's why you're listening to The Mark White Show. Hi, this is Maggie Peterson. I played Charlene Darling on The Andy Griffith Show, and you are listening to The Mark White Show. Hi folks, this is Ricky Skaggs, and you're listening to The Mark Watt Show. Hello, I'm Gene Stallings, and this is The Mark Watt Show. Get off the sideline and get involved and make a difference in your community. You are listening to The Mark Watt Show. My daddy is your host, Mark Watt. do something good today. Welcome to a special segment from the Mark White Show. Right now, I have on the line with me Belinda Hartzell. She is in Auburn, Alabama, and we wanted to talk about the subject of children in isolation, anxiety, depression that goes along with that, because right now we do have young people and older people alike that are now in their homes, confined to their homes for the most part, and there are some issues that can come up or arise and some challenges that they face and wanted to try to give some comfort and some advice for how to deal with the situation. Welcome to the Mark White Show, Belinda Hartzell. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. It's good to talk to you. I'm a licensed clinical social worker, and most of my experience for the past 10 years has been working with adolescents. And I do have, you know, some training in trauma-focused cognitive behavioral therapy with children. So I do have experience with young people. Of course, right now with school being out, there are some things that are normally in place, whether that be a school counselor or somebody that a student can connect with. Some of those connections are put on hold right now. Yes, that's right. A lot of resources that parents and children are accustomed to having available are just not easy to get to right now. I know in my work as a therapist for the University of Alabama, I'm having to see clients on Zoom meetings, which sure is different for me. I don't like it as much, but we're making it work as best we can. We have children who already had some issues, say, with maybe a single parent home. They now have a fear of losing that parent. That can cross their mind when they start to see the news and see what's happening with COVID-19. And that can become a focus that can create a lot of anxiety for a child. In every family, there's always something going on. It seems like there, of course, sometimes are more trouble-free than others. But to every parent and to myself, I would say, first of all, we need as adults to manage our own feelings. This may be one of those times that we have to give ourselves a good talking to. We have to think our way to feeling better and managing our feelings. It's maybe one of those times when we're watching the news, we need to talk to ourselves and say, no, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is a temporary thing. Um, You know, whatever logical thing that we can tell ourselves, it will reduce our personal anxiety. And as a parent, as a caregiver, if you're managing your thoughts, that's going to manage your feelings and your behavior better so that you're better able to help your child. I was just watching a program with Cora, and it was a nature program about elephants. It showed the matriarch of the elephant group. When the matriarch stressed out and became anxious, the next elephant would notice it, and then the rest of the herd would become anxious, and then they start to lose control of the herd. In the same sense, a mother or father caretaker that has that stress and anxiety, it trickles over to the child because children are really good at reading people. Yes, absolutely. So it's so interesting about elephants. As adults, all of us, as adults, you know, we currently, we actually do feel a loss, to some degree, a loss of safety. Our children may especially feel that because things are so different. And if we have the news on all the time and we are expressing our worry over loss of jobs or the routines that we have, the possible health problems that could be coming our way, we just don't feel as safe. 
But as parents, as adults, it's our job to take on the role of helping our child feel feel safer. And this may be one of those times you, you have to talk to your kids. We have to talk to each other and, you know, we want to help them regain some of that sense of safety. We understand that we can't control very much really in the world, but I think at this time to help ourselves and our children, we need to try to control what we can. Talking to our kids about that is important. Now, I do want to say that as we're talking to kids, remember the age of your child. We've got to, we would say something totally different to a five-year-old than we would a 12-year-old. We might engage a 12-year-old more to help the family plan, whatever it is, in a way that we wouldn't a five-year-old. So just, I think that's always good to remember as a parent. Remember the development of your child and even go online and look that up. You know, what should a five-year-old child be able to understand versus what should a 13-year-old be able to understand? Handling change can be difficult for a lot of people. And as you mentioned, people have lost jobs, they've lost income, they've lost their routines that then affects the family unit if we can't adapt and overcome that challenge. Human beings are extremely adaptable. It always amazes me when I see that. I see, you know, in this crisis, how we're adapting to the isolation. I do think that as an adult, it would be a good time maybe to sit down with your child and say, okay, this does feel like a scary time, but I've got this. I'm your parent, and here's the plan. And even if it helps whatever age your child is, it helps you all to write down the plan. Say, okay, if mom gets sick, then here's the person that's going to take care of us. You know, Nana's coming, or Uncle Johnny's going to come, whatever it is. And, and as a parent, you, you need to have that plan. Before you sit down with a child, you need to get that plan in place. And if you are blessed enough to have made the choice to be a part of a church, a congregation, then this may be the time to gather to reach out to those people and get some of those kinds of resources lined up. But sit down with your child and talk about the plan. And no matter how scared you are, you need to express to your child that, look, I'm your parent and I'm going to take care of this situation. Here's step A, B, and C. This is definitely a time for character building for the future of that child as well, to show them that they can have confidence and they can get through these challenges. If they can overcome this and they can come out on the other side a stronger person, then they have a better chance of being successful later on in life as well. If we as adults are managing our thinking, what we want to do is help our kids with their thinking. And sometimes kids with who have been through trauma, and this may end up being a trauma for some kids, there's a, a method of thought stopping that when an anxious child is thinking about their whatever it is that has worries them the most, therapists would practice with them, you know, stop that thought like you're changing the channel, like you're pressing the clicker on the remote control, stop it. But change the channel. So what positive, helpful thing will you think about? Maybe it's about your birthday. Maybe it's about, you know, when this is over, you know, mom says, you know, we're going to go to Six Flags. Maybe it's about you're envisioning that perfect moment. You know, maybe it's you are hitting the home run ball or you're making straight A's, whatever the perfect moment is. But you can stop those worrisome thoughts. And kids, you know, and we all have to practice it, but, but kids can practice it too. Change that channel. Click that button. That gives you a little bit more control. You not only can you think, okay, I can, I can stop that bad thought and think about something positive, but you realize, I can control when I think those thoughts. And it may be a, a, a good strategy for a family to say, we're turning this TV off. We're not going to listen to this 24-7. At 7 o'clock tonight, we'll check in on the news and see what's been happening in the world today, and we'll have our time to talk about it. I, I think that thought-stopping thing is a good way to help all of us children and adults deal with some anxiety. What are some resources, Belinda, that you would encourage people to check out if they are having trouble within their home right now and looking for advice on to how to deal with some of these situations? I would be happy to talk to anybody that has a need and you're free to put people in touch with me if, if they need help. We have a range of services in the state of Alabama from the Department of Human Resources. We have pretty good mental health services all over Alabama, around Auburn. It's East Alabama Mental Health reach out to some of those places. They're still there. East Alabama Mental Health is still open and is still seeing clients through phone calls and Zoom as well. 
and families have a lots of internal resources. I think you a good thing to do is we're going to be in this for the next month. There's some things that haven't been normal before that we probably just need to try to normalize, like washing our hands all the time. If we have to wear a mask, you know, it, we're just going to treat it like it's this is just what we do now for a while. Do your schoolwork. Get, keep your routine going. Get out in the sunshine. Be physically active. Play some music. I think music is really a great way to lift your spirit. Have a family theme song. I have a tiger or dare to sound like Joshua, you know, <laughs> something like that. And pray together. Pray together. Make it part of the daily routine. And I do think having a routine is important. People that students have been going to school, that routine has been just shot up. So, you know, but get back to it. Another thing, this is a time when you need to have food in the house. Now, this may sound weird to people, but having food is connected with people feeling secure. And if you are in a food insecure situation or finances are a problem, please reach out to to you, Mark, and to churches. This is one of those times when your child needs to be able to go to the pantry or the fridge and see it packed and be able to maybe get a snack more often than you you might normally have, have rules about. Food is just something that helps us feel secure. I think that's why our 18-year-old keeps walking to the kitchen. I'll ask him, what are you doing, Nicholas? Where where are you going? I'm getting a sandwich. I'm getting a snack. I'm getting something to drink. <laughs> yes, yes. I do think I do think limiting screen time, such as the news and gaming and that kind of stuff, is is a good idea. You know, that's the kind of it uses part of your brain that gets kind of jaded uh, after a while. So I think I think that's something. I mean, I'm a big believer in young people being tired at night. You know, (laughs) mow the lawn, paint the shed, (laughs) chop some wood, (laughs) you know. Folks, we've been talking to Belinda Hartzell in Auburn, Alabama. She's a licensed clinical social worker and professional in practice to be an individual independent therapist. We appreciate the thoughts that you've shared with us today, Belinda, and I do hope that they help somebody. And as you said, they can reach out to you if they want to send me a message. That'll be fine if they want to send a message through my Facebook or if they want to send me an email to the Mark White Show at gmail.com. This show is about difference makers. It's about bright spots that are happening in our world. And I want everybody to have a bright spot in their home and not to be anxious and upset, but to find peace and comfort and know that you do have it within you to overcome this challenge and to come out a better person. And I appreciate you joining me today, Belinda. Thank you so much. I've enjoyed talking to you. And gentle people who shout a friendly heart When they go passing by Who live and love in my home Ah, these are my kind of people Hi, everybody. This is B.J. Thomas. You know, raindrops may be falling on your head, but on Kyla's Corner, she's living life sunny side up. You are my sunshine. Holy. This is Kyla Carter of Kyla's Corner. You can hear my segment every Saturday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time and 11 a.m. Eastern Time on the Mark White Show. Remember to tune in every Saturday and always live life sunny side up. Please don't take my sunshine away. If you like hickory smoked ribs that fall apart at the slightest pull or barbecue shoulders that are so slow smoked each tender bite melts in your mouth, then you are going to love Baby Jack's Barbecue. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett and Arlington. Try the barbecue chicken, beef brisket sandwich, barbecue potato, it is huge, or the Baby Jack Trio, pork, turkey, or beef brisket sliders. You like wet ribs? They like dry ribs. Get one slab that has them both. Catering? Baby Jack's can feed a family or an army. Drive in, drive through, order online, or come in and set a minute. Baby Jack's Barbecue in Bartlett at Highway 70 in Appling or in Arlington at Highway 70 just a block west of 385. 
Hello, my name is Christian Martinez. I'm a rising senior at Athens Bible School. My school is great because of the wonderful environment in which students can grow and flourish. We have great academics that include the university preparatory diploma and dual enrollment courses that lead to an associate's degree before high school graduation. All my teachers and the school's employees are Christians who are devoted to the welfare of students. We have an excellent student body, competitive sports program, and study the Bible first thing every day. It's a great place. Give that special child in your life the great opportunity I have. Are you in Alabama and need questions answered by a medical professional? If so, my friends at Trinity Medical Care are proud to announce that they are offering telemedicine. With telemedicine, you can stay at home and still have your visit with the doctor. Telemedicine from Trinity Medical Care is now available Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. Make your telemedicine appointment today by calling 256-489-3192. That number again, 256-489-3192. You can also follow Trinity Medical Care on Facebook. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be performed is greater than the legal services performed by other lawyers. Losing a loved one is hard, but losing a loved one and not having an estate plan is even harder. Attorney Harlan Mitchell witnessed what not having an estate plan can do to families and decided to use his experience to do something about it. I encourage you to go to BamaEstatePlanning.com or give Harlan Mitchell a call at 256-216-9884. Again, that website is BamaEstatePlanning.com. Let Harlan Mitchell help you with estate planning. Do it for those you love and do it today. Discover fascinating animals from the islands of the world when you visit the Island Life Exhibit at Tennessee Aquarium. You'll be amazed at what you find. Jingle bells swing and jingle bells ring Snowing and blowing up bushels of fun Now the jingle hop has begun Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock Jingle bells chime in jingle bell time Dancing and prancing in jingle bell square In the frosty air What a bright time, it's the right time To rock the night away Go gliding in a one horse sleigh. Get up, jingle horse, pick up your feet. Jingle around the clock. Mix and a mingle in the jingle and feet. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell. That's the jingle bell rock. We may never see tomorrow anyway. I'll do something good today Oh, won't you hear me, people, when I say Well, let's all do something good 